Today we are back in nutrition educator Lynn Mateva's kitchen and today we're talking about breakfast. Check it out. So kids are headed back to school and more and more adults are headed back to work in offices and whether you're leaving the house or just need to shake up your morning routine, I have a great way to start your day. So what I have here is a, another non-recipe. Um, I know a couple weeks ago I shared one that I called a non-recipe, but it really is that. It doesn't have any strict uh, or hard and fast rules, but basically I had left over from baking this weekend 10 egg whites, and I didn't want to throw them away because that's almost a dozen egg whites, you know? So um, what I did is I just put them in a bowl, I mixed them with one whole egg, so I added an egg to it. I didn't have to do that, but I thought it was an awful lot of egg whites and just to give it a little bit more depth and flavor. And then um, I added in about a third a cup of ricotta cheese. You could use cottage cheese, you could use shredded cheese, you could just use some milk. Um, but that's just what I happen to have in the fridge, so I threw it in. And then I started to throw in, um, I, I put a non, I sprayed the pan with nonstick spray, and then I just started to throw in um, frozen veggies. So I had a bunch of, uh, I defrosted some frozen spinach, I defrosted some frozen like stir fry mix, which you can see is still kind of frozen here. But, uh, and I just started chopping up the little pieces with uh, kitchen shears. And then I threw in some purple onion or red onion just cause I thought it made it look pretty. And I threw the whole thing in a 375 degree oven for 20 minutes and I have this nice frittata that was literally made with like leftovers and scraps. So it's a great way to start the day and get some veggies in. But what about um, for little kids or for those of us that are heading out of the uh, house during the morning, we're trying to get out the door, a great way to do that is to take this same idea and move it into muffin tins. So you would line your pan uh, with non-stick muffin liners and they don't have to be the silicone kind like I have here, you could use the paper kind. And then you would divide up your egg mixture into the pan and then um, my rule of thumb is typically for every dozen eggs I use about, I mean every dozen muffins, I use 10 to 12 eggs. So if I don't have a dozen, I don't have to use a dozen. If I want them really loaded with toppings, I could just use 10. Um, but then this is the fun part is that everyone in the house gets to add in their own individual favorite items. So you have, you could chop up some frozen veggies, defrost them and just throw them in like I have here. You could throw in leftover um, vegetables from dinner the night before. You could sprinkle in a little cheese or beans and salsa. Um, I have leftover taco meat here that would also be great with some, some beans and cheese and salsa. And then this morning, I just made one just for an example, but I just threw some chopped up mushrooms and sun-dried tomatoes and a little bit of, um, of oregano in and I have this little it's not you know anything too exciting looking it's just this little muffin but the great thing is I could just grab this and go in the morning and I'd have a really uh, healthy breakfast just to, to grab and, and take with me um, you could also because they're already kind of shaped in that nice round shape put them on a toasted English muffin and have a breakfast sandwich pretty much ready to go um, Again, there's no hard and fast rules, but the cool thing is because um, this is a, a form of meal prep, it's a surefire way to make sure that you and your family are staying properly nourished, nourished even on the busiest mornings. Oh, that is really making me hungry this morning. As a reminder, you can find all of Lynn's tips and tricks on our website. All you have to do is log on to 47abc.com, and once you're there, click on the Good Morning Delmarva page, and you will find all of them. Well, stay tuned. We'll have more news and weather coming up after the break. You're watching 47ABC.